help the screen's pulling up with Sega. Uh, Sega. Ah, uh, uh, God. Too much Sega. Is such a thing possible? I say no. Of course you do. Sega. Welcome to another edition of Sega CD Monday, as we celebrate on Christmas Eve's Eve. Two days till Christmas. I hope all of you end up with a Sega CD in your stocking. If not, tell Santa to shove it and try better next year. Uh, real quick, I want to thank Nervous for the eight-month resub. Nervous says, shut it down, folks. You got a kid on site. <laughs> uh, there's also some uh, heated debate whether or not these children are scabs or whether they're union. I think they belong to, like, Teamsters for Kids. <laughs> Teamsters for Kids for with, the, kids. with the number yes, four, the four, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is going to be a very special one. Today's game we've played before, not on Sega CD Monday, and in fact a long time ago when we were known as Adventure Pals. Now it's time to dig it up and celebrate our final covered game from the 1994 release season of the Sega CD. Thank you to Kate Libsey for the 100 bits. Yes, do appreciate that. Kate Lib says, Merry Christmas Eve. Joyeux Noel. My French is perfect. Don't complain. Joyeux Noel. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nervous also mentions Nervous got a Sega CD for Xmas in 92 when my parents had, their parents had them open a copy of Double Switch before the console and they were baffled for a number of reasons. That's like, that's like when I got a Genesis. I was like, I opened one of the presents and it was like an extra controller for the Sega Genesis, which I didn't have. And I was like, what the hell, Dad? And he was like, hey, didn't you see that giant present just over here? <laughs> and I was like, I'm legally blind, Dad, but thanks for the, <laughs> the Genesis. <laughs> your parents did that shit to you too and you're just like i can't see mother whatever anyways anyways welcome oh, to uh we're here to remember fun times and to create new memories for future generations let's play some kids on site so today is a momentous occasion but also kind of a sad one because today we are covering our very last digital pictures game Ooh. they did not release anything for sega cd in 95 they packed up and moved to the the greener grasses of the Sega Saturn. And unfortunately, this is going to be the very last DP game we cover on stream for Sega CD Monday. Boo! But we're going out with a bang, because this is one of my favorites. It's generally the best one, and I'm not e that's not even hyperbole. This is just great. It's so freaking good. Play it. This is a game I actually had as a kid, because I had a little brother, and parents decided, hey, this game's only 10 bucks, Electronics Boutique. Bargain. So I ended up playing through this mini many times because a uh how old would he have been at this point five because oh, a five-year-old a five-year-old is good at two things wearing out vhs tapes and playing sega cd games over and over again so what was the tape that your brother wore out home alone one and two this is the only console game part of their digital kids uh line of games just for children not for adults so for all you twisted adults, you can enjoy Night Trap and Sewer Shark. But kids, this game's for you. I love it already. Yes. Now this is actually... Uh, a lot can be said about Digital Pictures' uh, business practices. Where they were headed, just how important they thought FMV was going to be. Here's my controversial opinion. I think this game is a fucking fantastic idea. Because you know how many VHS tapes there are of just like trains and construction equipment yeah. and, and big trucks for big boys. Yeah, like the whole like, you know, oh, dump trucks, construction trucks, all kinds of trucks. This, know? unlike Sewer Shark, has an actual market. <laughs> this is uh, designed for people who may in fact enjoy it. Had some big names on staff too. Noah Falstein is a uh, industry veteran. A lot of people just stretching their abilities to make a game for kids about construction equipment. All these uh, vehicles have names. That is Ruby the Wrecking Ball. There's also Billy the Bulldozer, uh, Chuck the Crane, and um, Willie the Weed Whacker. Beautiful. I may have gotten some of those wrong. <laughs> um, uh... Electric Boogaloo uh, points out that the screenplay is by Ray DeLaurentis, uh, who Welcome you may... Pit, oh, kiddo. What'd you think this is important. Yes. Great, huh? Now that you've seen the kind of things we do around here, Dizzy and Nuts are going to show you how to operate heavy equipment. Welcome aboard, kid. My name's Dizzy. I'm Nuts. He certainly is. No. Oh. You're here to learn how to drive some impressive machines. So good luck. I'm sure you'll do a bang-up job. Okay, one second, folks. I just want to make sure I've got everything in the screen here so you can see all 
the dump trucks, all the construction equipment, everything you would see on a VHS tape uh, sold to you at, on Nickelodeon at like 2 a.m. in the morning. Mm-hmm. Perfect. We've all seen those commercials. Just yes. like trains, two hours of trains, three hours of bulldozers. Watch Bigfoot the truck crush a, a steamroller. I don't know. That, that probably didn't happen. So yeah, the guy who wrote the screenplay for this uh, <laughs> mostly worked on cartoons, including uh, Fairly, Fairly Odd Parents, uh, Shaggy and Scooby-Doo Get a Clue, some episodes of, and uh, some episodes of uh, Seen Elsewhere, and the Bubsy cartoon pilot. Of course. Of course. It all comes back to Bubsy. Mm-hmm. So this video game uh, it defaults to a button-only control setup for kids who aren't used to the complexities of a D-pad. But I think what I want to do is set this up to use the advanced controls. Okay. Oh. These are the instructions for button control. Press the A button to go left. Oh. Press the C button to go right. The B button is your action button. Press the start button to return to the main menu for instructions or to choose a new machine. It's as simple as that. Those are the regular controls. Uh, turn things up a few notches on our end, if you okay. would. Okay, yeah, and once I just need to adjust this. Okay, and yeah. And... There, let me know if that's good. That's better, thank you. Okay, and let me... Yeah, we are older kids, so we can use the D-pad. Or the D-button, as Sega calls it. So this has four events. Once you get through those, you get to go to the finale, which I'm not going to spoil. It is truly fantastic, though. This is a short game. There's no way to lose it. It's the perfect game for us. It is. Okay, are you done clicking? I think I'm done clicking. I think we're good to go. Okay, no more clicking. These are the instructions. No, I know them. I know the instructions. Yeah, and let me know if I need to turn up uh, the audio on you, uh, folks. Thank you, Taizo, for the 22-month resub. Do appreciate that. Enjoy the kids. They're on site. <laughs> Here they are. Ah, manual Hello, labor. Welcome to the pit, kiddo. Can you dig it? Well, if you can, then you're ready for the excavator. Take a look. This beauty is a turbo diesel-powered excavator with full-on hydraulics. It digs, it dumps, it does everything but eat your spinach. Hey, I dig and now dump too. <laughs> have fun. I eat spinach. The excavator. I call it Eddie the excavator. Excuse me, we have a dump truck to fill with dirt. Oh, I'm sorry, nuts. I'm wearing ear protection and I can't hear a thing. But try again. Uh, I read lips. We have a dump truck to fill with dirt. Wubble up, tuffled work. What a strange thing to say. Now stop this babbling. We have a dump truck to fill with dirt. Now your job is to <laughs> fill the dump truck with three shovels full of dirt. Don't worry if you mess up. Just have fun. Nuts is the best actor in the game. He is extremely underrated. Perfect man. Now this scene here, this is the most complex of any of the scenes, so you're going to need to lend me your power for this one. Okay. If this is going to be a one credit clear. In this one, you have to pick up stuff in one scene and move it to another scene. That's nuts! No wait, that one guy is nuts. <laughs> well, we have our crew down here, so why don't we just uh, put them on their toes a little bit. Oh, I forgot! A, B, and C! When you enable D-pad mode, just makes you play an air horn and shit. <laughs> and it's up that engages. So, you know, just having some fun here. Perfectly safe, harmless fun. Teamwork. That's what I like to see. Folks talking about whether it's OSHA compliant. Uh... Oh, totally. This is above board. They love it. Yep, it sure will. These are great because you don't even have to do anything. It just plays these entertaining videos. What happened? Did you leave the room? <laughs> All right, let's take him over here. <laughs> Danny! Danny! Yep. Danny! Oh, Danny! 
no, no, Danny. We dug him a fresh grave, and now we're going to no. put him in it. No, Danny, do not put this man in a grave. <laughs> cool, my own cemetery plot. You were going to spill my coffee. <laughs> oh, his coffee's fine. Yeah, that's all he cares about. The, that's the coffee break, gang. These people who just sit around drinking coffee and not actually doing please any work. Bring me some dirt, please. Whatever, nuts. This guy insisting that we do our job, saying we have things to do today. Mm -hmm. I love the fake transparency on the side. I saw what Trabuglu mentioned earlier, but yeah, they just repeat some frames to create that transparency, and I think it works really well. That's oddly forward thinking because a lot of videos that I hate use that nowadays. <laughs> they sure do. I I honestly can't stand that. A lot of retro gaming content on YouTube tends to do it, and it looks really distracting and bad. I don't mind it, but I I don't like to use it either. So. So he wants a truck full of dirt, right? I ask for dirt. A dirty man is not the same as dirt. Well, here you go, one dirty man. Enjoy your dirty man. Oh, his coffee didn't stop either. That's just printed in. That's just printed. Dumping people. That's a good way to practice. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're so positive! See, Dizzy, he knows that there's a method to my madness. <clears throat> and each scene is like this. It's four different scenes that you push left and right to go through. But only in this one can you interact between the scenes. Let's see what happens if we just put him right back down. Okay. Teamwork. That's what I like to see. Makes the dream work. Speaking of dreams... Kids are terror. <laughs> <laughs> even even he's turning against me now. I think there's one more scene where we can drop this guy, so let's go ahead and scoop him right back up. <laughs> We're taking this guy on a trip. Teamwork. That's what I like to see. We're gonna head out on the highway. He's having a great time. Look at his legs go, he's just bitten them. Is everybody but me on a coffee break? Yeah. I have a big one. Oh, I think he caught something. Whoa! That's a big fish. That's like a salmon. Hey, guess what else you're gonna catch? A man. <laughs> I'd imagine the uh, the stunt coordinator had a lot to work on because not many movie productions make you have to deal with equipment like being dumped by a crane and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what? This place is looking a little dry. Look, gonna... Let's make him a nice little lake to fish in. Okay, that's very nice. I'm gonna finally get that. Oh, there's just water there. Yeah, hit a water pipe. Good job. <laughs> I can see him wiggling around in there. <laughs> oh, congrats! You hit a gas line. We're all gonna explode. Now that did also give us some dirt, which is gonna make nuts happy. Chat's calculated over a million dollars in OSHA fines already. <laughs> but no, let's move on. No, you don't get your dirt. Oh no! No! I should have been a pastry chef. Hey guys. Need some more grounds for your coffee? Danny, have you been working on these all day? No. These are good though. <laughs> sure is quiet around here. Oh, you want some dirt too? I can do that. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> we can always make more dirt. This game is for dirt enthusiasts only. Let's bring our dirt over here. 
And water pipe fixed. Fine. You can never use too many worms. Yeah. <laughs> There's a worm in my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're having fun. You know, Dave, that's a good point. Dave mentioned that this is kind of like a spiritual precursor to the Goose Game because you're just going around creating fun chaos. Yeah, there should be more games like that. Everyone likes to be an asshole on a, in a professional setting. Yeah, this is like a chaos game. You know another game that's like a chaos game? Uh, uh, God, Job Simulator. That's another kind of... That too, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's give him one of those dirts. He's maybe a little bit too happy to get that dirt. Take a break. You're working too hard. I love this guy. You know, good point. I gotta go back to my friends. Don't, don't hurt them. Well, I just... I'm gonna take a break. See, Dizzy believes in me. This poor guy. <laughs> On the other hand, he has a hefty lawsuit to settle against us. <laughs> he's gonna be he's gonna be rich after this. This is the construction site where Jimmy Hoffa is carrying. <laughs> Let's dig him up. <laughs> Thank you, Caitlin. Are you gonna put water up his ass? Yep, here we go. This is against the rules! He's technically right. Oh, he plugged up the water pipe! I guess he got stuck in it. Well, problem solved. And it didn't show him recovering or talking about his coffee, so... I guess his role is to plug up the water pipe now. He's mad because I don't have any dirt. I know where dirt is, though. It's right here. Reverse that shot! Yeah. That was bullshit! <laughs> Dump it back in! Alright, alright. Take a break! You're working too hard! He's I, right. You know what? There's only so many breaks you can have in a day. Let's go ahead and get another scoop of dirt here. Now, technically, you're supposed to get the dirt from that one pit where nothing else is. But this is an alternate method. Mm. This is preferred by the water department. Yeah, hit a water pipe. <laughs> yeah, water department loves when you hit a water pipe and break a water main. Yeah, they say good job. <laughs> All right, second dirt. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like, wow! I really like that gag. Video games are perfect. I'm like three years old. <laughs> Can you overflow the truck in dirt? No, once you do all three dirt piles he requests, the mission's over. And that's what we're about to do. That's bullshit, but I get it. <clears throat> yeah, this is what you're supposed to do. Okay. And you can also just dump it right back out. Jackass. He's so sad. I should compile all the th different things he said he should have been. He said beekeeper, lion tamer, snail farmer. Seems like he really wants to work with animals. Yeah. Well, he kind of does already. <laughs> okay. But we're here on business. This is it. I love how excited he gets when anybody on site does does any kind of work. Yeah. This is the last one. Uh, are you sure about this? You sure you wanna? This is the last one. Dude, you should probably move. Well, all right. Wait, wait! I got the truck. And he's dead. Did we kill? Is that nuts? Mm-hmm. Did we kill Nuts? Nuts is dead. Good day at work. Look at that, kid. You got the dirt right in the truck. Very impressive. Where's Nuts? <laughs> nuts! You gotta see what the kid did. Nuts! I'm right here. Nuts! Ah, well. Bertha! That, that actor actually did have a big thing of dirt poured on him. 
God bless him. I can't hear a thing. Anyway, kiddo, you did it. You got your merit badge on the excavator. Good work, kid. Hey, nut, a watch out for ah! Oh. Hey, nut, you might need this shovel. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yes, this is an adaptation of Nuts and Milk. <laughs> and we got a medal, because that's what they do. They give you medals on the uh, construction site. One, one construction equipment down, three to go. Many more deaths can be had on site today. We've already got two, but I mean, did Nuts really die? He's unkillable. Oh, mm -hmm. Never try and talk while you're using a jackhammer. It sounds like you're yodeling. Anyway, you're here to learn about the bulldozer. And roll film. Ah, the bulldozer. <laughs> More fun than watching TV, just don't sit in front of it. Sit behind the wheel and dig yourself a sandbox. Or just fill your parents' shoes with mud. Have fun! Please bulldoze responsibly. <laughs> well, kid, I see you've chosen the bulldozer. I call it Billy the Bulldozer. Hey, I'm always talking. Let me let Nuts give you the rundown. Take it, Nuts! Uh, well, <clears throat> The bulldozer is the most... Such a fantastic piece of machinery! I once wrote a poem about it. <laughs> this is like me and Alex trying to do a stream. <laughs> You're nuts and I'm dizzy and I'm so sorry. The is the Roses are red, violets are red, <laughs> bulldozer, bulldozer, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's me. Nuts is so moved by my poem, he can't continue. <laughs> Reduced to tears by the end of every stream. No, you don't. You just need some time off. Go wax your car, you big knucklehead. Okay, kid. Your job is to clear this pile of junk out of the way. Oh, hey, uh... Don't forget your hammer. Heads up, nut! Thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. A lot of head injuries on this site. That explains a lot. Yeah. So, what we gotta do is bulldoze, not this, but in fact a uh, collection of garbage that you saw on the last screen. All you gotta do is go to that last screen, hit up or B three times, and the mission's over. But if you go into the forbidden zone... Time to tear ass down the streets of Hollywood. <laughs> now we're on the racetrack. <laughs> this game is fucking stupid. I love it. Uh, thank you to the anonymous gifter who gifted a, a sub to Kudano Shaw. Thank you. Yeah, much appreciated. Yeah, Doss Meow. There's. Not? There's a. Wow. There's a lot of really good shots in this game. They did all they could with the premise, yeah. I think you get something different if you do it again. Let's try. Oh, where are we going to end up this time? In the dreams that I have while in, while huffing cement. <laughs> oh We're boy. On We're on the roller coaster fantasy. I can't roller coaster that is. It's with a gong! <laughs> <laughs> Hell, I'm just going to sit here and do this all day for the next eight hours. <laughs> is this going to be our new format? Mm-hmm. Canyon Town. Oh yeah, Canyon Town. Ah, we made it. Finally, freedom. I think that's all of them, but let's make sure. Taizo, I can tell you for a certain fact that roller coaster was wooden. Was it the Rattler? They changed the Rattler. I'm so sorry, Dan. Did they? It's the Iron Rattler now. I'll show, oh. you. I'll show you. It's yeah. no longer wooden? It is wooden. It's a hybrid <coughs> coaster. They do hybrid coasters now, where they're like, a company comes in and they like retrack it to turn into this like weird half steel, half wooden thing. They're apparently pretty good. Okay. 
Well, we're done having roller coaster fantasies. We gotta move on. No, there is a roller coaster where a giant animatronic rat attacks you. That's for another thing. Right now, we need to see what these guys are doing. Oh, they're yes. making a can pyramid, just like the ancient Egyptians. <laughs> these guys must have heart problems. <laughs> It's beautiful. It's a shrine to coffee. I once wrote a poem about coffee beans. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. The game's just entertaining me. Boy, they, they sure referenced disco a lot in the 90s. Because mm -hmm. everyone who lived through disco grew up, and they were like, hey, remember this shit? And then, like, we grew up and we were like, actually, Disco wasn't that bad, man. Mm-hmm. Ah, let's kill him. Yeah, cool, Coyote. I do like that, um... Yeah, shift in second around. gear. Yeah. Oh, God. Very aggressive! Uh... Well, the dude suddenly disappeared. I think they're in the cans. Let's dig them out. Okay. Unfortunately, this is not part of a series. This is not part of uh, any particular series, but it is part of the Sega's uh, Sega Kids Club. It's the only Sega CD game. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! It's, it's, it's the only Sega Club game on the Sega CD. <laughs> yeah, other games as part of that series for Sega Genesis include stuff like Echo Jr., uh, the Berenstain Bears Campaign Adventure, uh, the Pony Game, Crystal's was, Pony Tale. Was Busy Town in that? Uh, Busy Town was definitely part okay. of that series, yeah. It's a, quite an illustrious series. Let's push him again. It is a shame there's not more of this, though. This is legit more entertaining than most of their actual real FMV games, if I'm being real. <laughs> Some of those games... <laughs> Some of their games had mechanical complexities that made them worth playing. Stuff like Double Switch, I'd argue, was actually good. Corpse Killer was on its way. Uh, a lot of their games are bad, but this one, I think, uses the format in the best way possible. Really and once does. again, having an actual target audience helps. Mm -hmm. Instead of just like, what, you want to go shooting through the sewers and shoot rats at a million miles an hour, right? Every kid's dream. I saw... You want to trap vampires inside a weirdo's house, right? Well, yes, but... That fence is wired, you'll have to go around. But I want to crush your car, nuts. <laughs> Do you think nuts has truck nuts on his car? Only one way to find out. If we have to get electrified, so be it. Whoa. Well, we got zapped. They all have comical sunglasses, it's okay. Careful, don't fool with electricity! I'll fool with whatever I want. Danny, you're gonna get electrocuted! <laughs> Isn't it getting a little hot in there? I don't like this nuts, he's just taunting us now. <laughs> There with his, his precious Dodge Charger or whatever. No, Danny! Okay, you're moving away. We're okay. moving away. We're moving away. Okay, because he's just going to keep getting you. Like, you're just you're going to die trying to kill him. Only so much you can do with a bulldozer, it turns out. You can never build with a bulldozer, only destroy. Look at all this trash they piled up. It would be a shame if something were to happen to it. Yard sale, but maybe you can help me clean it up. Oh, that's where it came from. <laughs> Did he steal? I love him. It sounds like he, he borrowed things from nuts, tried to sell them at a garage sale. I should open a car waxing business. 
<laughs> and then just left them to be bulldozed. <laughs> well, let's get to work. We're not, That's true we're not being you. paid for nothing. <laughs> Yay! DPU! Digital Pictures you Oh, I want to go to Digital Pictures University. Yeah, yeah. I'm a graduate of DPU. <laughs> Time to push more stuff into the trash hole. Where it'll never be seen or heard from again. Wait, aren't we constructing something? We're just gonna build this on a, a yes, mound of trash? Yes, we're trying to build... Yes! We're gonna be like the mall that was built on, like, the landfill that ended up, like, sinking and... Yeah, it's fine. Nothing, gas. Totally like... fine. Here we go, job complete. Two seconds to answer every question in DPU. Yes. Finally perfect. Bang up job, kid. I'm very impressed. I'm sure Nuts will be impressed too. Hey, what do you say we drive around that fence and tell him what a great job you did? Yes, yes. Fuck him up. Sorry, sorry. I needed to get my blood. All right, this isn't me. This is Dizzy doing this. Okay. So file the lawsuit against him. Mm-hmm. Billy, please. Billy, his car. Billy. Billy the bulldozer. Oh. Well. Alright, Nuts, break's over. Good thing you're unkillable. Well, from the looks of things, you really dozed up a storm. You might have even dozed off at the wheel. I wrote a poem about the bulldozer. How oh. lovely. Anyway, kiddo, congratulations. <laughs> you won your merit badge on the bulldozer. Roses are red, violets are blue, bulldozer, bulldozer. I love you. Oh, they're merit badges we're getting. Mm -hmm. Good job, kid. Yeah, even Nuts has to admit. Alright, we're halfway through with the game. Oh no. I think this is going to end up being a full playthrough. Well, are you going to show all the secret scenes and everything? I think I should. Okay, good. I want to test out something. Is this edutainment or anti-edutainment? I mean... Okay, save states do work. Good. Okay. Not like I'll need them for this game, but, you know. You don't know. Uh... I'm being edutained. There. I fixed my sunglasses. Ah, hot, hot. <laughs> Take a look at the steamroller. The steamroller weighs segue. 10 tons. That's five elephants plus four little elephants. And maybe a goat. Imagine if you ran over a snail with that baby. Ugh. There'd be snail juice for miles. Anyway, hop up and give it a try. Melvin the Steamroller. That is not uh, alliterative like the other names. Steamroller, huh? I call this guy Melvin. After its inventor, Melvin Steamroller. <laughs> he uses to press his underpants. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, how could you? I just made it up. <laughs> Be careful with the Poor long suffering nuts. nuts. Has this dangerous habit of diving under the rollers. I don't dive under the rollers. You run over me. <laughs> Only after you dive under the rollers. Now back to you, kid. I've just spread some fresh asphalt. Your job is to roll over it three times. Okay? Ready? Good luck! Sounds like a nightmarish existence for the both of them. Mm -hmm. Being forced to run over and thus be rolled over. To die and live and die and live again. A cycle of nuts and dizzy. I'm gonna call them spooky. Hey, kid! 
You want to try and make some fresh squeezed grape juice? Do I? What? Oh man, gonna spread it all over that pavement. It's gonna, it's it's gonna be so delicious. How are you going to it? You better squeeze these grapes before they turn into raisins. No, oh, we better hurry. Wouldn't want the California raisins on us. <laughs> I heard it through the grapevine! Oh, God! Don't drink that! It's probably got... Oh, oh. oh all that mud in it. Nothing <laughs> like grape juice to give you a purple tongue. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. They recognize fine art when they see it. Nothing like fresh squeezed orange juice. That's true. And the best way to squeeze it is with a steamroller, as we all know. Where, yeah, it, where it mingles yeah. with the mud and the oh, grape boy. juice. Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, you, you find steam videos of people steamrolling over shit on uh, all over YouTube now. And it's always like, ah, oh, I'm steamrolling fruit. Oh. I'm telling you, ahead of their time. Oh, don't drink that. Oh, man. Oh, 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 God. oh, oh, These Jesus. nasty peels. <laughs> he couldn't even dignify that with a response. B banana juice. How about some fresh squeezed banana juice? More of a smoothie than a juice. Can you get juice from a banana? I, I see that stuff as more of a nectar or like a just very finely pureed. I, I, or maybe I've, you can. Let's I've seen like it. orange strawberry banana. Maybe they like uh, it's like a mixture. Anyway, mm -hmm. way we go. <laughs> Steamroller having a bit of an issue with this. <laughs> That is so unappetizing. <laughs> Shout out to anyone. You can make a really mean banana split. That's wonderful. Very good. It's got a slight flavor this is of great. coffee too. Like a banana. It's the banana best I've ever had. Mm. 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 Great banana split. <laughs> so I can't even make a joke. This is too perfect. A slight flavor of coffee. Hey kid, help me make this guy's rule. You know, this seems downright normal compared to the bananas. I'm just gonna go with this. Okay. God, now I am craving a banana split. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's gonna pop the roller somehow. They didn't even show, they couldn't even show the full thing. It must look like shit. Oh. Hmm. So many fruits have been pasted. You think if we let the folks down at Sonic know that we were playing kids on Cycle, there was a free banana split? It's a pineapple banana split now. Pineapple banana split. Yeah, I love pineapple chunks in my banana split. God, we're geniuses. They're so nice. Watermelon juice. What a thirst quencher. Let's squeeze some. I don't know, those look pretty big. This actually does look a little dangerous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what if the thing tips over? This ought to be juicy! <laughs> Let's make the juice. And the juice is loose. Tanny! Oh! Ugh! God, this is gore! It's a very gory game. Should have been rated T for teen. At least E10 plus. Thanks, kid. <laughs> mm. Watermelon. Not a fan, huh? So the pineapple was fine, watermelon was too much. Wanna try and make some fresh squeezed grape juice? And you can repeat the cycle anew if you wish. Mm -hmm. I just like that this one scene has something like six different variations. That you and they're can do. all disgusting. Yeah. The idea of just smearing fruit all over the pavement and then drinking it. Oh, 
I'm sorry to hear that, Tizo. Well, hopefully you can get better Wi-Fi and you can watch this on. I want to uh, make some coffee slushies. Uh, would you mind crushing the ice for us? Please, we need our frappuccinos. Raspberry, perhaps briar. It has a subtle nose, almost exuberant in its bashful nature. Although we perhaps should have let it breathe slightly longer before we drank it. These guys are sophisticated. I love these guys. Mm, it has a subtle, sophisticated flavor. Anyway, roll over our ice with your fucking steamroller. <laughs> It's yeah. oh. more like a coffee, uh, snow, snow cone. cone. Yeah. I should have been a lion tamer. Yeah, these guys love eating dirt. <laughs> yeah, Arnold. Love the taste of dirt. Dirt and ice. Dirt in my fruit juice. Dirt in my coffee. Let's make some more. Probably the best idea. Well, I think they're happy. We'll leave them to their discussion. I love them so much. Saw us so nervous calling them nasty little hog men. <laughs> they don't do any work, they just hang around. They're filthy, I should say. Filthy hog men. Would you mind ironing these for me? Well, this is what unions get you. Honestly? If the construction sites in Austin were like this, instead of, like, people dying or whatever, I, I would be okay with that. I'm like, if you're gonna gentrify me, at least do dumb shit on site. They deserve to have many as many breaks as they want, considering how many people get run over mm -hmm. or crushed. Mm -hmm. He wants us to press his pants. Let's do it. All the noises he's making. This is after we crush the grapes and the bananas and the pineapples. Oh, very nice. Impressive! Not a wrinkle! Oh boy. <laughs> hey kid, I'm sure Nuts wouldn't mind if you tested your driving skills on his coin collection. I'd mind a lot. <laughs> wow, coins. And they were gonna do it, I love it. Mm-hmm. Gonna make some real pressed pennies. Hit it, you got it. Yeah, I like that he put on the underwear. <laughs> oh, that's good. Now that's a big penny. I should have been a lion tamer. Hey, kid, how about rolling over Nuts' fluffy jammies? Not my fluffy jammies! Anything but my fluffy jammies! You can have nothing in this life that brings you pleasure. All must be destroyed by Killdozer. Come on, let her rip! I can't resist that. Oh my god! We are ruining this man's life! The, 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 the construction workers are they're, they're, they're against us. Yeah, now. even they think we're going too far. Absolutely brilliant! I should have been a belly dancer. Hey kid, how about testing your skill by running over Nuts' soda collection? Not my soda! <laughs> He's got that Pepsi from 1980. He's got new Coke. There's a Pepsi Blue in there. <laughs> I believe in you. Is that the rare can edition of Acto Cooler? No! All the Olympic edition sodas, no! Oh, they're exploding, too. That's cool. That's actually kind of cool. It sucks. I had a hundred bits from Akuta no Shock. It says all creatures will die and all the things will be broken. That's the law of kids on site. <laughs> and marry everything. Thank you. I should have been a puppeteer. <laughs> Thank you, and marry everything I'm to you sure as well. I'm sure wouldn't mind if you ran over his car. <laughs> no! 
<laughs> yep, Nuts has another car, and it's ready to be flattened by our steamroller. This is exciting! It sure, sure is. is! Let's crush it! It's a little car. Oh, poor car. Why is he bringing all his prized possessions with him to work and then stacking them so nicely? Very aggressive! I like it! <laughs> I bet Nuts would love it if you run over his mother's ashes. Would you mind iming these for me? And it repeats again. You already did that, my guy. Do we have any actual work to do? Uh, somewhere at some point. We'll look into it. Yeah, this is what we gotta do. Nah, fuck it. Daddy, no! <laughs> Thank you for not running over nuts. He's had so much of a the hard life. No, don't run over nuts. No. Okay, it looks like we've done everything else in this scene, so we have no choice but to do our actual work. Do we have to run over nuts? No, we're just gonna pave the pavement. And if we pave nuts, that's his own fault. No, it's... <laughs> nuts is paved, the kingdom is saved. Yeah, see? We're just doing a normal job. Very nice. Okay. Put nuts on the grapes and make grape nuts. Jesus! <laughs> he sure doesn't seem very happy with us. Okay, he wants us to do it again. We're doing our job! Get a chance. I need you to iron a few things. Hmm, that's tempting. But we're here. We might as well do our job. Make Nuts happy for once in his godforsaken life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He he should. Nuts should be brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Nuts oh. should understand how, how privileged she is to be in this particular uh, digital pictures game. Mm-hmm. One of the best. He'd be dead in any other. He wasn't in Ground Zero Texas. He wasn't in Sewer Shark. Right, he wasn't in Citizen X. <laughs> oh, we're just teasing him now. Smevel posits that Nuts is in his own Silent Hill and we are demons sent to torment him. That's a good theory, especially after uh, what I'm about to do to him. No, Danny. Danny, he's running away from you. No, no, he's prancing! Danny, do not kill the prance! No, Danny, Jesus! Jesus Christ! Oh my God! This is what he wanted. Now he's a permanent part of the, con the construction site. This is what happened to Jimmy Hoffa. Mission accomplished. Very impressive, kid. I gotta show Nuts what you did. Hey, Nuts! Nuts! There you are, Nuts! You are one silly man! And now, it's time for the kid to get the merit badge! Hey, Bertha! <laughs> well, kiddo, you've mastered the steamroller and you deserve your merit badge. Even though you did apparently run over a very large snail. Well, we better inflate him and put him back to work. This is basically a living cartoon. Three quarters of the way there, the final event. My favorite one. Ruby the Wrecking Ball. Oh no, oh no. Kiddo, you know what? If you do well, one of these days I'll let you push the plunger and set off an explosion. Ooh. But right now, you're here to try the wrecking ball. You have to see this baby in action. Don't you wish you had one of those babies on the playground? Go, give it a swing. And that's three, two, one, let her rip! <laughs> <laughs> I love her. <laughs> the wrecking ball. I call her Ruby the Wrecking Ball. Oh, you can call her 
Silver Ruby 2. Right, Nut? You sure are jumping ah! today. Anyway, back to you, kid. Uh, when operating the wrecking ball, just pretend you're bowling. It's a silly game. Silly but fun. That's my motto. Everything should be silly and fun. Agreed. Right, Nut? Today's games aren't silly enough. That I agree with. The ball. So have fun. Oh. And remember, think bowling. Oh no, Danny, don't you dare. These men have seen enough in their life. They don't need this. Please. They thought they could hide from me. They thought they could take a shit in peace, Danny. <laughs> Nuts is waving all the red flags. He's like, please, God! Oh, Sleeping next to the toilet. Hello? Hello? Oh, alright. Break time's oh. over. No, no! Oh, okay, that's not that bad. <laughs> no ventilation. <laughs> You sit all gotta smell your own shit. Sit in your own stink. Impressive. I take it you bowled before. Mm-hmm. No, oh, they're a bit more lively now. Now that I've swung a wrecking ball at them. It's like, oh, I'm awake. I'm awake. <laughs> What's that? Swing it again? Okay. Whoa! He's jumping in front of the wrecking ball. That's how I go to the bathroom. <laughs> Pull my pants around my ankles and just stand there. <laughs> Anything else for us to wreck here? It's like, oh, this guy's child's trying to kill us. It's fine. Don't worry about it. You never quit, kid. Oh, yeah, that was an outhouse with no toilet. Yeah, it's just a place to stand with your <laughs> pants down. Oh, Maybe these just, guys are the real perverts. I was gonna say it's the glory hole box. <laughs> wow, Alex. I'm sorry. It's it's what. It's That's the sequel. Adults on site. <laughs> You're just a vice squad. Elsewhere, he's setting up the pins. Hmm, I have a feeling that's someone's house. Please go away. I'm having my quiet time. It's Nuts' house. He built it right here. Oh, cool. With his own bare hands. Leave it alone, Danny. Please! If I don't have my nap, I get cranky! He hasn't had a nap in a long time. So... Yeah, kill him! Kill that man! Well, the workers want us to kill Nuts, and I love the workers. You know me, I support workers' rights, so I think it's our, the workers' right to kill Nuts, maybe. You got it. <laughs> Very aggressive. He loves it when I'm aggressive. Do it! Do it! Oh, yeah. yeah, finish him off! I think you just stunned him. Kill him, please. Yes, do it. Go for it. Satiate our bloodlust. Oof. Multiple people in chat calling this the nut shack. It's the nut shack. Hey, stop playing around, nuts. We have a building to level here. Looks like it's already leveled. Alright, multiple folks in chat have mentioned that Nuts has only one other credit on IMDb, and it's for 1986's Stewardess School, a sexy comedy romp. Oh my god, he was in a sex comedy? Yes. <laughs> I can't handle that. I just, I can't. You know he must have been like the guy who's all like, oh, I'm the slobby whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have been an, er an erotic presence in the film, you know that. Good god, I hope not. He would have been like the foiler or whatever. 
The Joe, like the Joe Don Baker of joysticks type character. <laughs> yeah, he was probably the stuck up bad guy who was just like, no one be horny. I am sorry you came into that, Mogs. Uh, thank you for the raid. Welcome, folks, from Mogs's uh, stream. We're about to bowl using a wrecking ball. And this part is one of the few parts of the game that's skill-based, and in fact it has an unlockable easter egg if you do a perfect game that is nine strikes in a row. Not so sure about this emulator's lag. I can do this on real hardware, of course. I'm the kids on site master, mm -hmm. so we're gonna use save states. I think that should do it. Yeah. You have to actually time it. If you're off, you pick up a spare, and you get no Easter egg. After three successful strikes, you'll see each part of the Easter egg. Alex. Well, no, each time you save state, it mutes the desktop audio. Really? Yeah, and I have to unmute it. Wow. Shit. <laughs> well, that puts a wrinkle in things. I loaded state. Let's do it again. Right down the middle. Nice. Strike! Do you like fruit? I love fruit. <laughs> so do I. Thank you. This requires extra input from Alex. It's okay, it's worth it. So yeah, we've seen the first element of the uh, the Easter egg. Just have to get a lot more strikes in a row. Mm -hmm. While Alex unmutes the stream whenever I mute it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's like an extra challenge. Yeah, our reward is that we were introduced to Mr. Fruit. Yeah, he's pretty unmute, cool looking. Please. Oops. Load that state. Bravo. Bravo. Is this enough? It is not. Let's do it again. There we go. That should do it. Here's the second scene. I like him. We've met Mr. Fruit. He's just out there enjoying life. Ready for everything the world can throw at him. Three more strikes, and we'll get to see the conclusion of the Mr. Fruit storyline. It'll be fine, right? He looks cool. Yeah, he's cool. He's got a smile on his face. Does he, uh, does he join you in the, uh, in the whatchamacallit? Does he, like, uh, do construction work with you? Because that'd be cool. That would be cool. Well, one more strike, and we get to find out. Cool. Here we go. Friends. This is the end of Mr. Fruit. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> really unexpectedly gory, isn't it? I he forgot just, how he just, absolutely He just kind of explodes. Oh my god, that was so gory! And that's the only part of Kids on Sight that you can get good at. If you can make nine strikes in a row, you get to kill an innocent fruit man. I forgot how nasty that was. <laughs> that was definitely a murder. It was too much blood for it to not be a murder. Alright, here's our objective. The last part of the Wrecking Ball sequence. It's a building here. Just asking for it. It's like, please, demolish me. Put a wrecking ball through me. Everyone's asleep. You can get away with it. They are sleepy. Wake them up. Wake up, everybody. Uh, oops. <laughs> That's upside down. Come on. All right. We've taken out their electricity. We've got a helicopter overhead. Come out with your hands up. Bowling. Think bowling, Manny. Too late.
It's a nice little dent. I didn't like that. No, they didn't. And as always, Nuts is there to guide us when we need it. Swing it again. He's like the little devil on our shoulder. I mean, he's kind of the angel who tries to stop you from murdering people, but... Almost done. Now swing it again. I guess this time he wants you to just ruin the energy grid for the city. Well, he asked for it. Mm -hmm. Done. Gotta say, that was a real shitty building. It was. I don't even know what it was for. Watch out, Nuts! Nuts... Oh... Oh, oh, no. They like that! That did better. Very nice! I am very impressed! I'm sure Nuts will be impressed, too. Hey, Nuts! Nuts! Oh, Nuts! You see the back of his legs are sure you can see where he's yeah. fucking... <laughs> yeah, he's pulling a dwarf. He's dwarfing it. Well, my first guess would be that you were crushed by a wrecking ball. Bingo! Well, good thing for you, you had your hard hat on. <laughs> hey, Bertha! Well, kiddos, you did it! You got your merit badge on the wrecking ball. Say, didn't you used to be taller? Very funny. We did it! We passed Construction University! Oh man! We got our degree! Got our DPU degree. Well, and as a reward... You did it! You're a full-on construction expert! Impressive! Very impressive! Right, Nuts? Yeah... Whoopee... Oh, what a card! <laughs> well, you earned all your merit badges, and now you're in the big time, kiddo! Now that you're a pro, we're gonna let you push the plunger and set off a big demolition charge! Oh, fuck yes. All right, gang, set your charges and hurry! Oh, cut us a break. It's not easy carrying dynamite with a full cup of cappuccino in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> they sure love their coffee. Charges set! Charges set! Charges set! You couldn't possibly have set those charges that fast! Check it yourself if you want to. Fine. I have to do everything. Nuts doesn't trust anyone for some reason. So he has to head all the way across town just to make sure they set up all the explosives correctly. Sorry, I saw him walking on the train track and I had. Mm, Real, real fear there. <laughs> yeah, I think this part is meant to instill fear. It's like it's like watching uh, Dance from the Dark. You know something's gonna happen, and you're just like, oh god. We set those charges right. Well, there's one easy way to find out. Just hit any button on your pad, kid. Dare we do this? Ah, uh, no judge in the world would convict us. Well, we gotta do it! Let's either turn the game off or blow up nuts. Let's do oh, it. Yeah, we can't afford overtime. Oh. A, B, and C don't do anything in this part, so... There we go. Game complete. Try coming back from that one, nuts. Oh, nuts. <laughs> and that's Kids on Sight, one of my favorite games for the Sega CD. A truly great game just because it's focused, uh, it has a creative application of full motion video, it doesn't try and implement too many badly considered gameplay mechanics. It's just an interactive version of one of those big trucks and trains videos that kids love so much. And I think this was a brilliant idea. Absolutely 10 out of 10. I love this game. I love everything about this game. Um... And we get to it's groove great. at the end. Celebrate bulldozers, come on! <laughs> I do love this this Z-list disco. Mm-hmm. 
Well, what did we think of digital pictures? We've now seen every single one of their games. We've seen the good, the bad, the unusually complex and interesting, like Double Switch, and the incredible failures, which is a lot of other stuff they did. All of it's memorable. I'll give them that much, at least. These games, you can't look at them and say, ah, that's boring. I'm never going to remember this. If you've played a digital pictures game, you will remember it. Yeah, they were, I can, I think that a lot of the, I really do think a lot of the FMV boom wouldn't have happened if digital pictures hadn't, like, put their whole ass into everything they did. Like, for reals. Like, yeah, they I mean, honestly believed they were making mm -hmm. the next generation of gameplay, and they put everything they had into it. And when that didn't pan out, they got out of it immediately. And and the thing is, they really tried. Like, the visuals on their games are, you know, they're good for what they are. The the acting is super hammy, but it's fun. It's, it's, they really made some of the best FMV games. And unfortunately, even the best FMV games would have never succeeded, would have never succeeded in that time, I don't think. Yeah, they did everything they could. It was not up to them that uh, they failed. It was just the industry wanted something else, and that something else was polygons. Yeah, 25 minutes from Cool Coyote, who says, Congrats on receiving your Kids On Site Merit Badge of Completion for your award. I bestow the Retro Pals with two honorary scholarships in Digital Pictures University. All nice, thank you. Board. We got oh, the official okay. DPU sweaters and uh, kilts, I guess. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I am excited. So I, I, am... I want to try something really stupid. Uh, why don't you turn down the desktop audio? That's good. Okay. Uh, click back on the gameplay screen. Mm -hmm. I want to try a speed run. A, a speed run? And by that, I mean using the emulator's speed up function. <laughs> You're going so fast! Slow down, nuts! Oh my god! Oh Jesus! Oh god! Oh, Nuts is gonna die in real fast time! Oh my god, you're almost done! You're uh -huh. halfway done! He's halfway done, folks! Alright, run that fucker over! <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh my god! This is very aggressive! They should be splitting these, yeah. And time! There we go, that's kids on site, very quickly. <laughs> that's great. That was the stupidest thing I've ever done on oh, stream. Oh, I, I don't know, we've done some pretty dumb shit. Oh, wow. But you know what, we still got some time left over. Um, mm -hmm. There are other kids games for Sega CD that maybe we've played in the past, but it didn't go so well, so we should try again. Kid, kids games, are you sure? Why don't you go ahead and load that up? Why don't you just uh, no. lo load it up? It's in that folder called Last Game. I don't want to load it up. I want to do the opposite of loading this game up. I, I know what it is, and... Yep, just the last game we're going to stream today. This one. <sighs> I know. It's... This is the return of a Retro Pals favorite, and an excellent game for kids. Alex, you don't look pleased about this. It's fine. I see chat reacting. Very strongly. Very strongly! Oh wow, chat is... Chat is of many minds. I had to rip this for my own CD because no one knows how pre-gaps work with ISOs. <laughs> I downloaded three bad burns of this game. I'm saying I still don't think this is a game for children. Children should not approach this game. Well, look at it. It's for kids. It's like a cartoon. It's like a Saturday morning cartoon you can play. Mm. This is The Adventures of Willie Beamish, a game we tried to play through long ago, and the Sega CD decided, Oh, look, I lost your save file. Wow, what a shame. Luckily, this is an emulator where save states exist. Letting us torture Willy as much as we want. Please use better language. <laughs> Look, this kid's had it coming. 
sounds like a royalty-free music from Camp California. Listen, network music ensemble are brain genius musicians. What I like about this intro is how they redraw Willie to make him look uh, stupid to fit within the color palette. So yeah, this is a DOS PC game made by Dynamics, a division of Sierra. Uh, it uses a lot of really good animation, some mm -hmm. voice acting if you play the CD version. And it was ported to Sega CD, where the system absolutely could not handle this game. Nope. But they did it anyway. Oh, we don't have to worry about laser balls! I mean, we can worry about laser balls, but we're not gonna need to because we have speed up, yeah? Uh-huh. Oh, man. The save states are the most important part, because... The main appeal of this game, in my opinion, is watching all the creative ways you can get a game over. But every time you get a game over, there's at least, no joke, two solid minutes before you can restart the game. Because you go back to the title screen and that has to load, you reload the game and that has to load. You load the next sequence, you load, you load, you load. There's nothing but load times in this game. And my hope is that we can explore more of this with less loads. We got a hundred bits from Tepid Snake who says, oh, no. Agreed. Thank you. Oh, boy. The intro has plenty of scenes which you're not seeing in the actual game. Mm-hmm. Kind of like a, a bullshit trailer. Is he gonna get hit by a train there? Because, God, maybe this game is good. Okay. Come on, Willie. Do it again. Do it again. You know you want to do it. Yeah! So cool. The so coolest kid. Cool. This game's kind of weird. You control a kid in a kid situation with all these cartoonish things that happen around you. And yet, I would say this game is most definitely not for kids. Absolutely not. Do not let your children play this game. I played this when I was a kid. Me too. Probably why I'm so fucked up now. Hi, my name's Willie Beamish, and this is where it all starts. Carbuncle Elementary School in good old East Frontier, my hometown. Turn it up a little for us, too, if you would. Thank you. Oh, look at that effect. Baldo, I mean Principal Frick, is blabbing on and on. Hey, it's the last day of school. Get a clue, Frickmeister. In the original version, they called him Fuckmeister. Mm, I see why they censored that. Yeah, right. Like you think we were going to listen to anything. Hey, a kid's gotta get his breath. Ribbit. But not good old Horny. He's my pet frog and best friend in the world. Forgot his name was Horny. And totally nabs it. An incredible leap. It wasn't until actually seeing the game that I'm also realizing this is a bad idea. Well, too late to change. <laughs> oh, the old frog nabs the principal's toupee routine. So much loading. But then I told <laughs> That's me. To the rat tail. On the last day of school. You embody a punk kid with a rat tail. I sit with that old hag I really do. Miss Broken Glass, Glass Note, Pain in the Glass. And with all these total losers. Man, I'm so bored I can't stand it. And so we begin in detention on the last day of school. How could they do that to a kid? The to last damn day. To a child. It's no wonder he's so horrible. <sighs> Here comes the game. Here's a thing you can move around. You can also hold start to unleash the laser balls. I love the laser balls. We mentioned this during our last stream of this game, but this is a feature implemented to make players deal with the load times. It's actually said in the manual, you can mess with the laser balls if you get bored with the load times. <laughs> You said laser balls. Oh, no. the old boom caught me. Better think of something fast. Okay, so 
Yeah, I don't think there's anything here we can get in trouble with. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save state at some of the, uh, the dialogue options. Probably after the next one. Okay. Thank you. I'll have to remap that key or something. Can you disable that in OBS? I can do it... Just try it while the dialogue's running. Okay. That's a lot of hotkeys. It is F5. Okay, trash him. Good. Hopefully that'll help us. Problem solved. Hopefully. Too bad you have to stay after school. What you did this morning was disgraceful, Willie. Just disgraceful. And in front of all those students. Ms. Glass, I'm supposed to be in juvenile court today. <laughs> Nervous Look at Duke. <laughs> Nervous's parents were upset by this game. I'd be upset by it too. You didn't raise your hand. Nice try, Carmine. Talking to your neighbor, chubby! Ribbit. Do you have something you wish to share with us, Willie? We'll say the spin animation pretty well done. You're in for it now, Willie. They definitely put thought into it. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and save our game here. And tell her it was just our frog, Horny. Oh, that was just my frog, Horny. Oh, this music's awful, for sure. What did you call me, she said. Uh, it's my frog. Yeah, he needs to stretch his legs. He's real cute. Wanna see him? No, I don't! Pets are not allowed at Carbuncle School! Oh, horny's loose. It's like a Friday stream up in here. Oh, God. Oh, I understand Kermit H now. The H stands for horny. Oh my god, Danny! Now loading. Please enjoy these laser balls. Does the speed up button work for load times? Yes, but it kind of goes too fast and we'd miss the animations. Ah, uh, damn. But at least we can avoid the load times we've already seen through save states. Well, the teacher's gone, and here's an even better character. I don't like this guy. Well, if it isn't Willie Beamish, you little monster. Long time no see. Long time no hair. What are you here for this time, Beamish? <laughs> the sweat beads only drop down when he talks. Adios before I blow out of here for the summer. You're not going anywhere, Beamish. Not until you give me back my, you know, my hair. Oh, how can you hate anything about this game? It's it's great. Willie is endearing. The adults are interesting, and the, it's, it just it looks stylistically beautiful. I'm gonna tell him to chill out. You're dead. Dude. Chill out, egghead. You know what they say, hair today, gone tomorrow. Ah, oh, the H is symmetrical. What brilliant planning on my part. That's the last straw, Beamish. I'm sick and tired of your behavior. It's time you learned a lesson you'll never forget. And that's already our first death. Mr. Beamish, I'm sorry to tell you, but William doesn't meet the standards of Carbuncle School. Yes? I would send him off to military school that once. It'll do the little fellow a world of good. Dad sent us off to military school over the phone. <laughs> That's cruel. That's so funny, I'm sorry. This is mostly visual novel style, but eventually you get to the point where you can point and click and use items and stuff.
Oh, this music is the fucking pits. No, it's fine. I know what you're talking about. You now loading haircut. Haircut.exe. <laughs> oh, he's sad. And yeah, most of the things you do in this game that are bad can get you sent to military school. Though there is a sliding scale of badness. Some bad things you can get away with, some things you can't. Let's answer that in a little bit better way. Okay. Here, Mr. Frick. I just saved us like three minutes of load time, no shit. Thank you, baby. <laughs> if you don't watch it, Beamish, you'll be on the endangered species list. Give it to me now, and get back to detention. Also, like you saw there, some of the choices you get, you have to choose like the least offensive one. And it's not always easy to do that. Now this hair, we can actually exit this school without giving back the hair and nothing will be affected. But let's go ahead and do this subplot, because he deserves his hair. No, he doesn't. Now get back to detention. And then he just sends us back to detention, so there really is no point to this. You can avoid this entire scene by not uh, mentioning your frog during the first scene. So if you don't tell the teacher you have a frog named Horny, you don't have to do this? Yep. Another way out of that first scene is to just sit there and let your detention run out, which is pretty funny. Now, people, I want you to write a composition. It will be called How I Plan to Spend My Summer Vacation. Well, let's go ahead and look at our desk. Mm -hmm. Might be something to get us out of this situation. Sega rules. One of the few things they added for this port. Some artist was like, oh, I got two minutes. Alright, we'll pick up some cola. Except... Hang on. The acrylic bottle of Slam Dunk Cola tipped over and is now permanently bonded to the desk. Nuts. Damn. So yeah, you can examine anything and a smart-ass narrator will tell you about it. How about this nasty-looking sandwich? Unfortunately, today's high temperatures liquefied your peanut butter, jelly bean, and mayonnaise sandwich. Oh. The gooey mess seeped through the bread, melding your Willie's special to the desk. This is basically Garrison Keeler, yeah. Don't eat that. Now what you do here is you can make your own hall pass by using either the red or the white crayon. The red crayon will get you flagged as being a fake hall pass, so you gotta use the white one. They won't even notice that it's crayon, that's great. Yeah. I like Willie's frog face in the corner there. He does look pretty frog faced, doesn't he? Looking kind of stupid, sorry. The resemblance between him and Horny must run in the family. Alright, I think we have everything useful here. You can also hit A to swap between all the different exits and things you can interact with. One of the few concessions they made for this port. It's appropriate we're playing through this on emulator now, because the only way I've beaten this is with save states. I'm convinced it's impossible on real hardware. I can't imagine it being possible. There's just one part where you have to use proper timing, and if you don't, it's instant game over. And a three minute load time. Pretty cool. Okay, so what you gotta do is wait for the teacher to fall asleep. And then head out and use your hall pass. We can also look at our buddies. I Duke Nukem Jr. Is Carmine, a true juvenile delinquent. Carmine was voted most likely to end up in a license plate factory by his classmates. I love this crime child. Yeah, Dynamics games have a... they have a trend of racism, don't they? Now they that I do. think about it. Rise of the Dragon and this. Known as either Fat Kid or Chubby to classmates and teachers alike, Leon is the reigning Carbuncle Spitball Champion. <laughs> Even the teachers call him Fatty. Jesus Christ. <laughs> cool pterodactyl. Next to Ms. Glass. The two dinosaur models represent the oldest species in the group. There's also very little balancing done on the voices. Yeah, he just kind of trailed off there. Let's save here and then head out. 
Oh yeah, this game is extremely mean spirited. There is no joy to be had. Yeah, it's kind of remarkable <laughs> just how mean it is. It's like, damn, tone it back a little. I want some joy in this game. And what you can do here is try to go outside or go to the bathroom, and either way you get caught. Hey, Beamish, what are you doing out here in the hall? <laughs> the family dog of point and click. God, it is. <laughs> Now you can tell him school's out, and you can actually get away with that after doing some push-ups, but let's do another side quest, since we're exploring the full Beamish today. Mm -hmm. I was just on my way to the bathroom, coach. Let me see your hall pass. You got it. The official one, not the one with red ink. In fact, we can actually look at the stuff we have in our inventory, including this thing. It's like a game gear. Game buddy. Perfect closed, dull classroom lecture. It's oh, a game buddy. It's a game buddy. Horny looks so White happy. Hall pass. A reasonable facsimile of a Carbuncle Elementary School Hall pass. Let's have a look at Horny. Okay. This is Willie's amphibian buddy. Yep. Willie also has a yo-yo and a wallet chain, because it is the 90s. It says a random wallet chain! Here's your hall pass. This hall pass looks mighty peculiar, Beamish. It's fine. I guess it's a new one. You can go now. Yeah, no wallet, just a chain. Mm -hmm. And this is the first time we get to meet the bully character, who we just kind of met out of the blue in our last playthrough, which never officially happened. Oh, that guy! Yeah, yeah. Ew! Ah, oh, this place smells gross! <laughs> Nervous, oh, that is a scene later from the game. You can see it in context, eventually. Cool cigarette animation. Mm -hmm. Not really. <laughs> hey, Spider. What are you doing here? Just my luck. If I'm not careful, this guy's gonna really bust my chops. They're gonna call me all kinds of names on Twitter. <laughs> hey, what you got in the backpack? Something a Spider-Man wants? He's gonna try to get me canceled. Oh, I forgot he's named Spider. Let's save our game here and tell us smoking ain't allowed in school. Oh my god, he's gonna force you to smoke or something. Smoking ain't allowed in school. Didn't you hear the song? Ask me if I care. Do you care? Don't you know smoking is harmful to your health? So is this, dirtbag. <laughs> Poof. Right Holy through the freaking shit, door. You're dead. That's a cool pose there, Spider. <laughs> Very cool pose. All right, people in chat are saying uh, Spider is actually Willy from the future. I saw a couple people. Mention it looks that. remarkably like him. Yeah, maybe like a lost half brother or him from the future. Oh my goodness! What happened to you? It's my mouth, nurse. This one. You've saved so many times. I'm in the bathroom, minding my own business, when these two big guys with baseball bats, maybe it was three, came out of nowhere and... What a little trooper you are. Now just sit still and let me take a look at you. Now hold still while I make sure it's nothing serious. I don't think we saw any of this in our last playthrough. I remember seeing some of her, but I think we may have only seen her in the oh, intro. Oh man, does that hurt! Feels like my jaw might be broken. You're going to be just fine. For a moment there, I thought we'd have to send you home early. It's just a little swollen, that's all. You can go back to your class now, Willie. She could be hornier. She has a shirt on. Danny. 
There's something else you can do that gets you sent to the nurse's office, and you can be like, oh, uh, you have to be like, does it, she's like, does it hurt here or here? And every time if you answer yes, you eventually get sent to the hospital and operated on, and that's game over. <laughs> now what is there to do from here? We already went to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Is the coach gonna still be out there? Let's find out. We may have gotten rid of the coach. There's one good thing about this game, and at least during the first half of the game, there's multiple ways to solve the problem, and multiple different scenes that are all optional. I like that. That's neat. Me too. The rest of the game, uh, well... It kind of goes off the rails at a certain point, point. it never recovers. What do you want now, baby? I'm tired of seeing you out in the hall. <laughs> you can then go back to the bathroom and enter an endless loop. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or you can tell him school's out. Have a nice day. School's out and I'm history, coach. Have a nice day. All right, Beamish. Pump out one last set of push-ups for me. The torture never stops for Willie Beamish. Now loading push-ups. <laughs> playing three audio tracks on top of each other. Yeah, what is this, Animal Soccer World? 18, 19, ah, oh, 20. No, he's wearing shoes. It just looks like socks. He's, he's In some shoes. shots, it does look like he's just wearing socks. It's really weird. He was fucking weird. Can I go now, coach? Let me see your hall pass. To go out of school? Okay. It's the same one I tricked you with earlier. Here, Beamish. Try to stay out of trouble this summer. Now get. No. And we did it. We finished the school part. No to like leaving or no to not causing trouble? <laughs> this game writes so many checks that this game's ass is never able to cash. This one part, it implies that every scene is going to have multiple solutions and you're going to have all these scenes you may or may not see. Doesn't happen for the rest oh, of the game. Right. Here we go. Summer's here. Time to get rid of this school junk and get home to play some Mentari. You look like such a dipshit. What a dipshit. I can only assume the DOS version looked way better in this part. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing in chat. <laughs> the coolest kid. So cool. <laughs> Original character Wart Bimpson. <laughs> I guess this was kind of a response to The Simpsons, wasn't it? I hadn't mm -hmm. really considered that. Oh, we got home early so we can actually pick up our report card from the door. Oh, thank God, we don't have to lie. Oh, but do we have to erase, like, the phone messages? That too. Oh yeah, he was in a really nice place. Willie spoiled his shit. All I gotta do is hang onto my report card for a while, and I'll be on easy street. Uh, oh, I remember now. I assume you're going to show that report card to your parents, Willie. Of course I will, Grandpa. By the way, where you been hiding? I haven't seen you in a while. I've been dead. I've been a dead train conductor. You haven't needed me for a while. You've got to watch yourself, boy. Something foul is afoot in the city of Frumpton. What? Eh. 
Yeah, that's his grandfather's ghost. I think that's the only ghost he can see. Yeah, his ghost helps him when he's about to get in trouble, and you can just ignore his advice and get game over. These load times are pretty accurate. I'm pretty sure original hardware is still slower. It is. Oh, Willie's dog. Hey, Duffy. How you doing, boy? Duffy's the name of the cat in a talking cat. <laughs> Hiya, bud. And this is a talking dog. I just want to say that dog's drawn like shit. I'm sorry. I'm Let's sorry save our game here so we can be an asshole to our own dog. Did you save? Yes. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, dog. Butthead. I think after you ignore the dog, he does something if you change scenes. Or maybe it's just later. Maybe. Uh, yeah, he is an underparented rich kid. It's... it's a mess. Yeah, it's actually later. I'm not gonna show that. What happens is hours later, the dog digs up the flower bed or something and your trouble meter goes up. So, let's just avoid that and take the damn dog for a walk. Okay. Maybe I should take him for a walk. He's just a dog. Yeah. He can't help it. He's not like Willy, who is just pure evil. Yeah, Willy does have affluenza. <laughs> Cables and grits. Cables and grits. I'm gonna get me some Cables and grits. Who remembers Kibbles and Bits? Oh, I love that commercial from the 70s. Something we all remember. Great after school snack. Mm hmm. You know, when kibble's on a bagel, you can have kibble anytime. <laughs> yeah, the dog is the most normal family member. Yeah, everyone else is messed up. Well, let's go ahead and listen to these answering machine messages so our parents don't hear them. Even though mom's in the other room. It's fine. <laughs> it's bacon! <laughs> I remember bacon strips much more. Our sister is a valley girl, and she has many valley girl friends. And I, the game is like, very much like, she's a valley girl, she's an idiot. Mm -hmm. This is Mr. Frick from Carbuncle Elementary School. We've been having some discipline problems with your son Willie again, Mr. or Mrs. Beamish. Please give me a call today. He is making a good face. Willie is nothing but good faces. <laughs> Kibbles and Bits is gamer grub. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry. I've I've been just, just eat it direct from the the bag. I've been processing that message. Hey, look, this is Miss Crabbleton. Listen, I ate something which really didn't agree with me this afternoon and it has really given me the green apple two step, if you know what I mean. So I won't be able to give Willie and Brianna their music lessons today. I guess I should have known better than to have thirds on the fried chicken livers in the buffet line. <laughs> oh well. No music lessons for Willie or his sister, cause music teacher has the trots. Green apple two-step. Yeah, that's what they call it. Hello, my name is Bernie Leibovitz with the Employment Bureau. I'm calling for Mr. Gordon Beamish. Please call me tomorrow at 555-5375 during business hours. Delete that mess. She doesn't. Yeah, delete that. that. Yeah. Tiffany, uh, this is Cliff. I was just calling to see if you wanted to go see the Gums and Noses concert with me Friday night. Call me when you get a chance. Willie's making an excellent face. The Gums and Noses concert. Gums and Noses. There are no messages. I'm looking forward to their new album, album, uh, Japanese Theocracy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this game sucks. <laughs> this game is very bad. I'm, the only reason I'm willing to play it is because we have an actual working save system now that can be backed up multiple times because I know this game will try and erase itself yeah you had to share your messages with the whole family bad times how was your last day of school dear she's pissed great mom just great really healthy relationship she hasn't had her Xanax today <laughs> sorry 
No, this is the. She's probably it's probably Valium. The nineties, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you're home. I'm up to my ears, and I really need your help. Dog's face had to be severely downsampled. <laughs> Same with the little sister, who looks like a doll. Mm -hmm. Mom, I want to go outside and play! Yes, it's a person. Lana, you'll just have to wait. <laughs> Willie, you can unwind after you help me. Brianna's been whining all afternoon. Get her out of my hair before I go crazy. Just take her into the backyard for a while. Mom, Brianna's a real pain. Then grab that Jinsu knife over there and Julia and those veggies for dinner. I don't want to do nothing, Mom. I gotta practice the Atari. You know the championships are coming up, and I need all the practice I can get. Can't be useful at all, Mom. Gotta practice video game. You promised me that Willie would take me outside to play. Willie's gonna grow up to be a streamer. Oh, he absolutely is. Brianna, I'm starting to lose my patience. Now just be quiet or else. Alright, let's save here. What is the biggest asshole thing we can say? Tell Mom to shove it. Danny! I told you, Mom. I've got better things to do with my time. I'm just gonna pull That's a knife on it. us. No Nintari for the rest of the day. You can apologize, you can take the thing out, and you can dig in your heels. Dig him, dig him in! Sorry, Mom, but I really need to practice Nintari if I'm gonna win the championship. Nintari is the kind of word that PC game developer would make up and think when it was hilarious. Mm -hmm. Nintari is not an option. The only choices you have are to take Brianna into the backyard or cut up those veggies. Now! We got Mom to yell at us. Alright, so I guess... Oh, it forces you into it. Damn it. Well... Let's save Mom some grief. Okay. <laughs> Very kind of you. Alright, alright. Come on, Brianna. I'll push you on the swing. Yeah, Famicom almost was the Nintari. <laughs> That's weird to think about. PC game developers didn't even know what a Sega was. Nintendo Segatari is what it should have been called. Nintendo Segatari. Hmm. Segtintari. Can't forget NEC. Nintendo Turbo Nintendo Segatari. This sucks. It's hard to like anyone in this family, even like the little kids who don't know any better. Well, what are you gonna do about it? There's something I can do about it. Are you gonna do it? Oh, yeah. Hiya, Willie! Hiya! Well, the sky's the limit. Well, if she really wants to go higher, the sky's the limit. Yeah, they do make you do the knife bit eventually, no matter what you choose. Oh, that sucks. There she go. How did you do that, Willie? I think that's a glitch. That looks like a glitch. Yeah, I noticed a couple graphical glitches. But... Emulators cannot handle this game. <laughs> Shot via drone. Look what you did to your little sister. <laughs> And there's our thumbnail. Oh. 
I don't know what's gotten into him. It must be all that Nintari. Oh, it's mom got those cougar pants. That nerd! Guacamole. A fucking nurse! The boy needs a firm hand. Have you folks considered sending William to military school? I think her boobs got bigger. They did! Considered it. We're going to pack his bags and put him on a bus tomorrow. Well, we were sent to military school again. She does look like a cool world nurse, yes! Oh, yeah! Honestly, Holly needed more work after that film, Mom, so I'm glad she got some. Yeah. I think from here it just takes you to the, the hair-cutting scene. Ah, boo, that scene sucks. Yeah, yeah we, we've it. already seen that. Let's not break our little sister's arms. She is just like five or something. <laughs> So glad I'm able to play this like I want to. Because you're really missing out on most of what this game has to offer if you don't constantly get game overs. And the load times just make that not possible on real hardware. It is a real cool world. <sighs> She's pit the little kid's pissed at you because you now can never murder her. Now you can get started on those carrots, Willy. Mom. The PC game isn't a Sega CD game, though. PC One did have voice acting. Willie can only walk when his mom is stirring. <laughs> the Mega SD actually has a glitch with this game; it can't run it correctly. That knife what? Is real carbon steel, and it's so sharp it can cut through it. This is Willie cursed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. So sharp it can cut through a shoe. Are we going for the non iodine ending? That's what we did the first time, and you know what? I still want to do that. Okay. Oh, yeah, the Mega SG did get a few firmware updates. I think it works now. Oh, Jesus, I forgot how bloody it was. Oh, yeah, more blood. Yeah. That weird blood spurting noise. It's like it's a sink. Mom! 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 I'm bleeding! Call the paramedics! This looks serious! Please watch the watch while the loading time commences. Oh, don't be such a baby. It's just a little nick. I'm bleeding all over the damn stew, Mom! Don't make such a big deal out of it. You're beginning to sound like Brianna. Just go upstairs and take care of it. You're bleeding all over the veggies. She knife look rusty, Mom! You think I ought to put iodine on it? I don't care what you do, as long as you don't make a mess up there. Yeah, at this point, I don't think Mom is capable of caring about anything. Mom is... She Mom. is so checked out. She's on Mommy's Little Helper. Gina Beamish's favorite kitchen station, the Center Island, serves as her parental command post and as a strategic location for organizing meals. Oh, we examined the island instead of Brianna, our little sister. <laughs> Alright, so you got options here. You gotta head upstairs, or you can just ignore it and not do anything, but I think that eventually leads to a game over. Now upstairs you can choose to apply some iodine, or put on a band-aid, or do both. Doing both is the only way to get the best ending. Otherwise, uh, B Willie supposedly gets gangrene at the end. Something I've never seen. And you know what? This is my playthrough, and I want to see him get all the way through the adventure, only to get gangrene at the end. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm there. I'm here for this. If nothing else, we can see the actual best ending, because I'm sure many people have recorded that. should also point out this is one of the earliest Sega CD games, so that's why it looks and sounds so terrible. It's a game I got from Blockbuster for $2.99 when they were clearing out their Sega CD stock. I got this from my local uh, independent video store, which I ended up working for later in my life, uh, for $5. Hey! Yeah. 
And they were doing the same thing, clearing out their Sega CD stock. So yeah, you use the germ away on the thing, or you just use a band-aid. That's what we're gonna do. This band-aid's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I don't think anyone has ever seen the gangrene ending, so I'm really excited about getting that. This seems great because there's so much stuff that looks like you can interact with it and you just can't. Not even the toilet? Not even the toilet. Oh, shit. Uh... Just so you know, Willie Beamish is on GOG for $5.99 because of the Christmas sale. Oh, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, you should get it. Oh, it's a shame this never got released in Europe. Oh, the GOG one is $3.49. Wow, that's actually a really good price. Go get that if you want to. If you don't want to get it, well, it's your choice. Live your, li live your life. People in the UK are just missing out on the key video game experiences. Super Mario RPG, Chrono Trigger, Look at this Willie bra Beamish. Look at this brat's room. Look at this brat's room! Ever since Willie experimented with glue as a lubricant for his sizzle cars, the racetrack has not seen much action. Willie experimented with glue as a lubricant. I guess it's better he did it with his cars than anything else. Now part of the plot is getting good enough to win the Natari Championships, and by doing that in the PC version you need to play the PC game twice on two different days, at <laughs> least. Uh, in the PC version, that just says, you played the game and got good at it, congrats! While on Sega CD, this is a fully fledged mini game that you have to actually play, so let's do that. It's also very loud, so thank you for turning down the volume, Alex. Oh, I... Alex knew that in advance. Now, I don't know who programmed this. Maybe it was Sega themselves. But, uh... It's kind of like Tetris meets Space Invaders, I suppose? It has CD uh... audio. All the sound effects and music are overdriven and they clip constantly. That's accurate to the original. You get all these power-ups, and occasionally you get a power down that just ruins everything and ends your run. So we're gonna have fun until then. Let's see, uh, this is a Y2K multi-cart game, uh... This would be on a Galaxy of Games CD. <laughs> this looks like it's programmed by an unpaid intern. Okay, people keep sending me beautiful images. I can't click them because I'm, I'm using the same screen for the emulator, but uh, apparently there's a willy Beamish watch you could get with the Amiga version. Oh! I want that. Give me all the Willy Beamish merch. The way this works is left and right, movie left and right. Uh, the B button shoots up, C shoots right, A shoots left. It is just this. Eventually you do get to different stages and they just like change the background and the music and that's it. Oh, I got the big weapons now. It's possible to make, miss this up by picking up the wrong thing, so I'm gonna try and not pick up anything. Hey, we got to level two. So anyone remember playing this on your Nintari? I did not play this on my Nintari, unfortunately, but I do remember playing this when I got uh, Willy Beamish on Sega CD and being like, wow, this is great. <laughs> and now that I'm older, I'm like, god damn it. Wow, it's a game within a game. I thought I actually thought that was so fucking cool. I was like, oh, whoa, that's so neat. And I'm just like, Alex, you fool. I think it was actually meant to be one of the selling points of this version. Like, wow, he can actually play Nintari. You don't have to imagine what the games are like. Can you imagine Atari caliber games like this, but just with like a CD audio soundtrack? Yes, like, like, uh... It's called the Philips CDI. There, I finished my own joke. <laughs> it's called the new one. <laughs> Sorry, that's not fair. There's some good games on that. Like Tempest 3000 and that's it. Yeah. And this weapon is actually pretty good. Usually at this point you end up getting overwhelmed. Okay, the S is actually good to get. Did I make my weapon worse? Yeah. Shit.
I hate having this cartoon circus music. God, this is this is hell. I'm sorry, I'm not a big fan of this. Is this what Cats is like? Are you going to... Okay, I guess I have to mention it. I saw Cats this weekend. Alex saw Cats, knowing full well a new Star Wars was out. And that's why our game is over. <laughs> I saw the unpatched version, at least, with, like, the, the, the visual effects error, so it was good. Yes, I saw the unpatched version, Tepid Snake. Um, I saw Judy Dench's wedding ring constantly, and at one point there was a character in the background where they didn't rig on her face. They instead just, it was just, it, it was just fluff. It was, it was, it was just a face full of fur and a hyper-realistic CGI lips and teeth. Cool. So like Not an Assassin's cool. Creed thing. Not fucking cool. It was awful. I'm glad they have to patch movies now. Uh, nervous, you're right. There's a lot of things that happen with Rebel Wilson that are very uncomfortable. At one point, she unzips her skin. Nice. Too early to go to bed now. Oh, I can't I go to bed yet. A yep, they've already sent out the patched version, so it might be too late to see it in your neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing here is we're picking up a jar of flies. Cool. Which may come in useful later on. Mm-hmm. Jar with flies, just the thing for a hungry frog. Yeah. And this is what happens when you save your game. <laughs> the game makes fun of you for trying to make progress by saving your game. That's weird. It's pretty weird. Hmm, is there anything else we can do to get killed immediately? I kind of want to end this on a bang. Do you, re do you remember where the next death spot is? No, I do not, unfortunately. I I'm don't sorry. either. And, well, we may as well end it here. That's Willy Beamish. Probably gonna play some more of that, unless all of you people revolt. At which point I'll be like, yeah, fair enough. Honestly, I, yeah. <laughs> but trust me, you have not seen, you have not even began to see the depths to which this game sinks. It gets ridiculous. It gets stupid. It gets a little bit offensive. It's a, a little, little bit. bit. It's a little bit of everything. Uh, Willie Beamish is all things to all men. <laughs> it is truly an unforgettable experience, and I hope you'll join us for the rest of this throughout 2020. <laughs> what I want to do is play a little bit, a little chunk of this every time we do Sega CD Monday. Not too much, maybe 30 to 45 minutes, because a little bit of Willie goes a long way. And I hope you'll join us for our journey. <laughs> people are people are begging us to play the PC version. No. <laughs> That's my response. The thing about the PC version, it lets you save and load, but the thing is, it, you still lose a lot of time from that. Actually, save stating is faster in this case, and this is the version I'm most attached to. If it does become too much to bear, we may end up switching to DOS. Who knows? Yeah. We'll see. We will see. There's a lot to be seen in the future year of 2020. In the meantime, we've covered every single Sega CD game released up through the year 1995. Holy moly. We have entered January 1995, and the next time we do Sega CD Monday... Wait a minute, that'll actually still be 2019. Mm -hmm. I gotta think about this. So, next week's lineup, to be determined, but in 2020, we'll be switching full-time to 1995 Sega CD games. Hell yeah. Only a couple dozen left. We're getting to some of the biggest and best games. We may even play through some of them to completion. Ooh. We'll find out. We gotta finish Willy Beamish first. Oh my god. Okay, we do, we do. In the meantime, thank you for watching. We're Retro Pals. We do this thing a lot. We stream a lot of stupid games. Mm -hmm. People say, no, God, please no. And yet they keep watching for some reason. Thank you for that. This week there will not be a Wednesday stream because no. this Wednesday is Christmas. Christmas Day. Uh, jolly old St. Nicholas's birthday. I think yeah. that's what it is. Yeah, uh, Santa, Santa's birthday. Uh, he's invited us over to, uh, to hang out. And so unfortunately we've got that social obligation. But we will be back on Friday, yeah? Yeah, we're going to do a Friday stream. we got to do a regular Mascot Friday to close things out this week. Mm -hmm. not, not like the Mascot Friday I did. Well, Utena, she is a mascot. By the way, I'm watching the, I'm watching the show finally, and um, it is gay for sure. Mm -hmm. And also, Anthe is the greatest character of all time at one point. 
This one lady is trying to plant a snail in Anthe's uh, pencil box to prove that she's a real creep weirdo. Mm -hmm. And instead, she opens up Anthe's pencil box, and it's filled with disgusting snails. And everyone's like, that's so <laughs> great! I love you, Anthe! It's a great show. Watch your tenna. I should have been a snail farmer. <laughs> anyway, yeah, no Wednesday stream. We'll be back on Friday. Hope you and yours have a wonderful Christmas season, no matter what you celebrate. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex, wrap us up. I'll look for a host. We're also on Patreon, patreon.com slash retropals. Um, if you pitch in at least uh, five bucks a month, you get to vote on what we play every Wednesday. So if you pitch in now, you'll get a vote on not this Wednesday stream, but next Wednesday stream. We're also on YouTube, youtube.com slash retropals. We post highlights of our streams there. We just put up part two of Lunacy. So if you part one and part two of Lunacy is now on YouTube, go check it out. If you want to see one of the best, weirdest, and most interesting system SATCOM games ever made. Great, great, great game. One of my favorites. I loved it on when I was... Usually I don't like doing editing of the highlights because I hate hearing my own voice, but it was worth it for all the wonderful things that happened in Lunacy, so please check it out. Highly recommend it. Watch it. That Thank game you. tells a great story, and it I does. think it has a really satisfying conclusion. It and does. we've now uh, uploaded all the parts of that, so you can see the story from beginning to end. I recommend watching that if you got some time. Mm -hmm going to leave y'all with Aquas, who is streaming Gradius games right now. He's streaming Gradius 3. He's doing a fundraising thing to get him to AGDQ, which is in a couple weeks. Mm. Go help him out. Go help him achieve his goal to go out there and raise some money for, uh, I think it's Prevent Cancer for AGDQ, right? I think so, yeah. Either that or Doctors Without Borders. I'm not sure. One of those sure. two. Yeah. Either way, a very worthy cause. Aquas is good at a lot of games, and I hope he gets there. He's going to play some Ghouls and Ghosts. You know that's going to be a good time. Ooh. So, enjoy the rest of your evening. Have a wonderful Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. <laughs> see ya, folks. <laughs>